Good morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 5.50 a.m. April 27th. I want you guys to know this happened in the county I live in, Queens. Not far from where I live. Yeah, this happened on Liberty Avenue, which is very close to my house in Jamaica, Queens, New York City. On Liberty Avenue. This crazy ass vegan starved her seven month year old boy to death. And the authorities came in with 15 cops a while ago and took two of her other kids, two year old and they don't tell me the age of the other child. And this vegan nutbag basically defended herself in court saying, vegan means that everything that's in, in this Bible. I Typical mantra, I am very wise and I'm very smart. I read my Bible. This is because Vegans have imposed veganism as some kind of spiritual crusade. All right, save the animals. And this ideology is toxic. And the reason why it's toxic, it's because it's killing children. This is another child within New York. All right, the Metropolitan Avenue, uh, Avenue area in which a child has died from veganism. And this is just in New York. Happy Healthy Vegan, what do you got to say about this? This is two deaths in New York City due to veganism in a, in a couple of years. Two deaths, which our children have been starved to death in veganism in New York. Why does be why do people try to associate being vegan as being smart? It's because that's what the dummy's been told. And this is the only way they can prove they're smart by, of course, being vegan. Well, if you're vegan, you're, you're automatically smart. Even though you've done none of the research, even though you don't read stories like this, you ignore them. Now, she's on our way out of the neighborhood. Because, you know, anybody that's not vegan is a fat ass to her. And she killed her child and she had her other two children taken away. And, and, and where she lives, one of those so-called fat asses find out she killed her child. She's going to get some street justice. You see this nice little pretty face she likes to put makeup on? It ain't gonna look so pretty no more. One of those one of those overweight fat asses is gonna roll up on her. And that's how it goes in that neighborhood. I know. I work there. So she's she's moving out. She don't give a shit about her kid. Oh, that's my kid. I had it cremated. His ashes are over there. Not a tear in her eye. She does not give a shit because vegans are misanthropes. Even the death of their own child doesn't matter to them because they've been brainwashed. And the post, the post ain't playing around. The post, it's got some, let's say, some rugged individuals that grew up in neighborhoods like that or have been in gritty New York since the 80s. They posted her address, pictures of her house, and everything. Look at this. They're making sure you know who she is, where she lives, and the house. The post is <laughs> straight up gangster. They know that somebody's going to go settle this account. She's not in jail. She's not even in a mental asylum. Oh, well. You know, she just killed a kid on veganism. We don't want to give vegan a black a black eye. Just let her walk. Now it's all part. It's all part of this 
sick agenda, this sick uh, utopian future that they have for us. And if you want to see this sick utopian future, go watch uh, uh, The Time Traveler, the 1960s version. Let me see. The Time Machine, here it goes. By H.G. Wells. Alright? Now, H.G. Wells based that on the group of people he hang out, hung out with, which were a bunch of Fabian socialists. So rather than come out and tell you directly, and then uh, be attacked by those same Fabian socialists, he just wrote a story about what the future would be like. Slipped it underneath the door so to say. And they had two groups of people, the Eli and the Morlocks, or, or those that, the Eli, the Morlocks, and the Morlocks masters. And they separated society into three different distinct classes, and one society was consumed by another, used as fodder. And that's why they have a view of us as not being worth anything. It's the ideal they've created. Now, you have to understand SJW's project, you know, project the English language to shape reality, not to express reality, which we're doing. This is expressing reality. Veganism has killed a child again in New York. This is the second child that died. Okay? One in the Bronx and one in Queens. This is too close to my house to ignore. This shit is starting to spread. And it, it, need, it, needs, it needs to be taken care of. These vegans cannot be allowed to run around spreading their ideology. This is the obvious results. It's happening more and more. And it needs to be stopped. Now, who's with me? I know there's a bunch of people with me. These vegans need to be have this pounded over their head. Happy, healthy vegan, this is to you. You should shut your mouth. This is the second child that died because of your stupid vegan ideals in New York, in the metro area. One in the Bronx, one in Queens. Were well, you going to keep running your mouth to what happens in Brooklyn? talking crap. She, This lady has to move. I and mean, Everybody in my neighborhood knows why. Because she, she'll be dealt with. And not in the nicest of terms. You just let her walk. You don't put her in jail or anything. This is why the post... I'm going to tell you one thing. The post is gritty, man. This is why they post a picture up so you know who she is. They put her dress up. Look at this. And they put a picture of a house where she lives. The post is ghetto, and they know how, how things get settled. Kill your baby and then sit around and act like nothing happened, and then blame it on the Bible. Man, there's got to be a special place in hell for you vegans. They really do. I mean, you would walk up, you see this girl, you meet her at a party, yeah, this girl's a pretty good looking girl, and she's done up. When she's not uh, deep into friggin' being vegan crazy, probably. But I can tell you one thing. If I met a girl and she said she was vegan to me, I'm walking right the fuck away. And I suggest all you do. Again, I'll say it. Vegans, they're SJWs. They're just a different branch. Again, they twist the English language to uh, use the English language to project their version of reality on every subject. But they don't have no common sense to actually express reality. And this is expressing the vegan reality open and clear to anybody that can understand. I don't care how they word it, there's no fucking excuse for this. This shit's gotta end. It's gotta end. And the worst part about this is that sh 
she had two other children taken from her prior to this. And if she would have kept them, she would have killed them too. Man, there's all levels of vegan crazy. There's the fake intellectual to the full-blown nut. You got every area fucking covered, you friggin' vegan nut jobs. This is why psychology today posts articles from a PhD that 30% of vegans are mentally ill. The proof's in the pudding. Don't tell me there's nothing wrong with something. Veganism is okay. Especially this is the second death in the New York metro area due to fucking veganism. Come over here and debate me. Freaking bullshit artist. Freaking kill a seven month year old baby and say it's okay because he followed the vegan lifestyle. And yeah, there she is moving out, vegans. There she is. Skipping town. What happened? Yeah, you know what happened. One of those people she called fat ass is going to roll up on her. That's why she's leaving. On that mark, I'm out of here. You vegans are disgusting. This is the second kid in New York City that friggin' died from veganism. Second one. This shit should be outlawed. And all you fucking vegans should be canceled. I'm out.